Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another exciting episode of CSK News. As always, all of today's stories will be time marked down below in the description. A lot of great stories as well in today's episode, so hope you guys all enjoy, and as always, let's get into it. And just as I released yesterday's episode of CSK News, if you guys didn't watch it, I'll link it down below for all of you. I talked about the downfall of the Immortals roster, and this is actually just completed this. The new story out there as of right now is the newest transfer from Immortals to Team Liquid. A very big surprise, as we don't see very many IGL changes, especially this late in the season. It's actually going to be Immortals' last top-tier player that is Steel. Of course, Bolt's leaving to SK Gaming sometime soon. They have now lost Steel, though, to Team Liquid. Now, this is something a lot of players out there and a lot of people out there never saw coming. We did hear rumors about Stannis Law and his in-game performance obviously struggling but yes it will be steel replacing Stannis Law on the liquid roster and this brand new liquid roster will be tested out as of starting today at IEM Oakland so if you guys want to watch those matches today throughout the week and we have IEM Oakland a pretty big tournament we're gonna be able to see steel on this new liquid roster which is pretty shocking to see as well we also had a, a long time ago I talked about this on this channel a rumor that Stannis Law might be leaving as he did change his Twitter handle and he also uh, tweeted out this as well on his Twitter a long time ago his Twitter handle was also Sia so and that was actually all the way back in October so in some way, shape, or form, either Stanislaw knew his performance was actually downgrading so much he might be put on the bench, or maybe he actually knew about this move so far ahead of time. Either way, though, I am very excited to see this new Liquid roster. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about that, and I'm actually very ha very happy for Steel. This has actually been debated a long time, uh, ever since the release of their new Hulu show. I'll link this down below for all of you guys as well. We had Immortals release a brand new Hulu series, also on YouTube as well. It's called Rise from the Ashes, and in that, they actually talked about the possibility of the team disbanding altogether and Steel going to a different team and that has officially happened as of right now. This team and this organization, CSGO wise, has pretty much fallen apart in my eyes. Now on top of that as well, because it's such a late season change for the major qualifier, of course a big qualifier for Liquid, they will not be able to play with Steel, but their coach Zeus instead, who actually recruited Steel to the team. So hope you guys all enjoyed that. I'm excited to see how this roster does, and we'll see where Stanislaw or where he goes or what he does in the future, and if a team actually picks him up or buys him out. And also in huge CSGO news, we had a huge CSGO update drop just last night, as they usually do, and if you guys have not heard about this, this could be the the next or maybe even the biggest update so far for CSGO for the year of 2017. Of course, maybe have some drawbacks. We'll talk about that in a bit. It's called the new matchmaking feature known as the trust factor. So for all of you people out there, I believe a majority of people out there who matchmake probably never have a full team. If in one of those times you actually have only four people, three people, maybe you're trying to solo queue, this should help you actually find players who are around your similar characteristics, all based off your Steam profile. So it's going to base who you play with, who you actually matchmake with on your team based off your Steam profile characteristics. All based off categories such as you know past reports have you ever been reported for griefing or your in-game behavior other reports such as that alongside if you ever been reported for cheating and on top of that even the number of hours you played in the game of CSGO will all determine who your team is in terms of matchmaking now of course we've thought of many drawbacks for this of course we're gonna have one team against another team what if one team all has a similar highly number of played uh, hours for the game of CSGO and the other team has a dramatically less hours and over played uh, hours of played of course each rank correspondingly has you know usually it takes so and so many hours to get to this rank so of course that shouldn't be too much of a flaw the biggest flaw I've thought about so far though is now your in-game reports really do affect who you play with so let's say you're playing a game with your friends and all of a sudden your friend decides to report you for fun for griefing or some kind of in-game behavior and now for the rest of your time when you're matchmaking you guys are actually going to draw in players who have those similar in-game behaviors so it seems the more reports you get on your account now of course you can only be accused of griefing two times now before you're actually banned but you can actually get it reported for a variety of things out there so it seems the worst and worse you do in game in terms of behavior wise and the more people that actually report you the more in the future you're going to end up playing with players that are actually similarly based on that characteristic so this could mean if you're a bad player or maybe a bad teammate for the rest of your CSGO career you could be matched with people just like you which of course could create a very toxic environment so of course many of us know this this system can have a lot of drawbacks at first and it will require a lot of fixing but I am very excited for this in the future leave a comment down below what you guys think about this but also I want you guys to comment down below what could also be another Another big drawback of this system of the trust factor update now on top of that as well even more importantly an update that I thought was also very cool was a change of your rank pictures I'll show you guys a variety of pictures on screen right now as the ranks have changed how they look on your profile which I actually thought they looked way better way cooler but people like anomaly apparently didn't agree with me but leave a comment down below what you guys think I thought they looked a lot cooler but then again I really don't play matchmaking too often so some big CSGO updates coming to CSGO guys we'll see how they affect us in the future of our actual matchmaking experiences and it is so 
weird to report on this next story. If you guys remember way, way, way back, if you've been watching CSGO News episodes for a long time, I reported on the Esports Industry Awards last year as well. It goes to show you how long I've actually been making CSGO News episodes. The Esports Industry Awards have actually come up again this year, a couple days ago, and yes, CSGO actually won Game of the Year yet again, so it's pretty awesome to see. CSGO, according to people outside, respectively, is not dying, guys, as an esport. It did win back-to-back -back years for the Esport of the Year. Now, on top of that, we also had some other great people inside the CSGO scene win their awards. We had Machine win Broadcaster of the Year, which I thought was very well deserved. A lot of the events out there, he is the main broadcaster corresponding between the analysts and the commentators. He does a great job of doing that as well. On top of this, uh, even though he has me blocked on Twitter, I have to say, one of the better esports journalists, especially inside the CSGO and League of Legends scenes, yes, that was Thorne, who actually won his award. I'll link his, I'll try and link his video down below if you guys have not seen it. His actual acceptance speech was one of the best speeches I've seen in a long time. So that's another CSGO guy who won an award in the esports industry. And on top of that, we also had uh, 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 Gamut Gaming Hobbit win Rookie of the Year. So that's pretty awesome to see a guy, I think he actually won this because of course, if you guys remember, he was actually on loan for a long amount of time. Then his loan was extended for 30 to 40 days and he finally earned his spot on that team itself all while being a rookie. So pretty cool to see that Hobbit won that award and a lot of great awards inside the CSGO scene guys. And I can't wait for next year to see CSGO maybe win back to back to back years of best eSport of the year. Now on top of that, lastly for today's episode of CSGO News, I want to talk about almost a sad story, but also kind of a, a very inspirational story about a very well-known gambling YouTuber out there. His name is Boyd. I will link his channel down below for all of you guys who are curious. He took a break from YouTube a while ago, but many people were actually not really sure why. This guy was in an almost fatal car accident. Now, I want to say viewer discretion is advised while I show you guys these pictures. It was actually back in September. This accident led him to be in a coma for almost two weeks, and he has finally recovered. So I'm going to show you guys pictures right now of the accident, what it did to him, and here are the pictures on screen right now. So it's amazing to see how inspirational this is. He gave me permission to actually share this story with all of you guys. And as always, if you want to see his content, I'll link his Twitter and his YouTube channel down below. And that's just amazing to see. I'm really glad he's okay. And I have not seen it resulting in an accident that was almost fatal that bad. It was almost hard to look at those pictures. So hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. I will see you guys on a couple days with some more stories. I have a lot of great stories coming out sometime soon. So hope you guys all enjoyed. As always, leave a comment or a like down below. And thank you guys to all. I begged you guys to leave a like on yesterday's episode, and you guys did. That made me feel really good. So really do appreciate that guys and I will see you all in a couple days and uh, goodbye